Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, now back in episode 14, that was actually only released four days ago, but a lot of time actually to play the game over the past few days, uh, which is great. Uh, now I did actually say that in this episode I was going to be putting the finishing touches to Summerfield Shore Amusement Park uh, by just adding the theme in around this uh, racing wooden coaster along with the plane ride that I installed another flat ride which was the large carousel and of course a junior wooden coaster as well I said that I'd be putting all the theming and landscaping around them in this episode and then that'd be it for new builds in this park it was complete and uh, yeah then we're moving on to the final episode uh, which would have been 16 where I was going to be uh, opening the park running it with staff uh, getting guests back in again and uh, yeah just genuinely uh, showcasing what the park does when it's fully functioning however I've had a bit of a change of heart a bit of a change of mind and you know I've been looking at the park and in fact I've been running a lot of the rides and stuff and I thought you know what I really feel like this park would benefit from another steel coaster so there you go and I've always reading the comments and I know there was quite a few comments as well from people saying I would love this park even more if you built one more steel coaster and then of course I built this area which to be honest ended up being a lot bigger than what I'd originally intended and when you zoom out on the map I've covered pretty much all of the front uh, along the seafront itself other than on the far right hand side when you're looking at it front on from the beach so I thought you know what it actually looks a little bit weird now the fact that I've got this big space on the right hand side where you know there's nothing so I thought right I'm actually going to build another ride and and that's the stage where we're at now so this isn't actually going to be the last episode of, of me building stuff in this park there's going to be one more and yeah i am going to build a final roller coaster and i'm looking at building an arrow looping coaster uh because i think it would fit really well i know there's quite a few people who've said sean you know i'd love to see you build one really modern ride in this park uh a bit like obviously like icon or something at blackpool pleasure beach but i'm not going to do that because I don't want to ruin this whole vintage feel what I've got here however if I put in an arrow looping coaster that is a lot more modern than some of these wooden coasters that are here at the park and um, so there you go I think that's what I'm thinking of putting in it's not 100% locked in yet and I won't be recording it for a couple of days and um, so yeah get your suggestions coming in on this video would you like to see the arrow looping coaster or maybe there's another traditional style ride what steel what I could put in bear in mind um, you know this is definitely going to be the last ride now but I thought you know what the game is running so much better as well since uh, Frontier have, have optimised it better uh, like last week they've, they've done some changes they did an upgrade to the game and it runs so much better as well sometimes that's caused issues I mean with my first park it pretty much caused me having to stop building because it was lagging that much uh, the studios park pretty much managed to finish that how I wanted this park I've managed more than what I'd originally planned now but uh, yeah because this whole area that I'm working on here originally wasn't planned uh, I was just going to do the section and, and end it there, you know, and sort of leave it up to you guys if you wanted to download it and, and add areas in. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's the stage I'm at. So yeah, tune in uh, to episode 16 that isn't going to be opening the park. It's going to be building one more final ride. There's not going to be any flat rides or anything, I don't think. Uh, I'm pretty much thinking one more roller coaster. Uh, and I'm 80% set on building an arrow looping coaster, maybe two or three inversions quite an iconic more modern ride to sort of end this series and, and you'll see what I mean when I zoom out later on in the episode you know you've got all this frontage which is done lovely and then just on the right hand side a big space just the other side of the Chinese themed Schwarzkopf looping coaster um, so yeah, really looking forward to building that and uh, yeah, that'll be coming up in the next episode. But more about uh, what I've just been doing over the past four minutes. Uh, this is basically adding all the station area to this dueling wooden coaster and uh, I've got a name for this ride. In fact, I've got a name for all of these different rides that are built back in the uh, episode 14 and I'll be revealing that in a few minutes. I'm really loving the name for this ride and uh, you can start to see there. I've gone for a nice purple colour scheme, quite a modern 
and feel actually with this and it fits with the name what's been suggested what i've picked for this one as always you guys have been incredible when it comes to picking names for my planet coaster rides uh, but this one i really felt like it fits with the amusement park feel and this ride and uh, like i said i wasn't going to go in and put lots of theming around this ride it's more landscaping uh, it's got this nice purple sort of more modern feel to it and uh, yeah that the, the reason it is purple is because of the name what I've chosen for this one so I, before I actually put all the theming together and well the landscaping should I say um, you know there's not really much theming around this one uh, I thought yeah let's um, get, base it all around this because of the colours so uh, yeah we'll get onto that in just a moment as you can see uh, the building style follows a similar sort of style into what we did uh, in the early stages of the park uh, the building's not having lots of detail on really just quite basic in terms of just some windows doors uh, some lights and maybe a couple of uh, like wooden panels and things but nowhere near as much as what i've done with the wild west area uh, or the uh, chinese style area as well because as i've mentioned many times throughout the series it is an amusement park not a theme park and i really feel like this racing coaster uh, you know really takes us back to that and, and it works really well actually and you can start to see it coming together quite nicely now and uh, that landscaping uh, all coming together uh, I like putting all these lights on buildings because, like I say, this park's been heavily inspired by some of my favourite amusement parks around the world. Uh, Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen, a gorgeous amusement park. Uh, Liseberg, of course, in Sweden, uh, that's got some lovely lighting around it and it's a great park. Blackpool Pleasure Beach, as much as we don't get to see it at night as much as I'd like to, and I'm sure a lot of you would agree, uh, when you do get in the Pleasure Beach in the dark, it's a very magical park in terms of uh, all the coaches coasters running around everywhere and different rides and all lit up and um, you know it's got a very different style of magic to it and that is exactly what I wanted to capture with this amusement park and I'm, I'm quite sad to be honest that we're coming to the end of this series I'm happy that I've made the decision to build one more ride and of course like I say that's coming up in the next episode um, but yeah I'm loving this area I go as far to say that I know you've not seen the finished area yet for this but this is actually my favorite section of the park I really feel like the purple and that warm classic uh, white uh, works with this area and I can imagine going around on that grand carousel there uh, that we're also going to name shortly uh, you know you're spinning round on your horse uh, looking over at that racing coaster and you'll see shortly um, in a couple of minutes I get onto the lighting at night around this and yeah the whole coaster is going to be lit up uh, with different colours as well so you know it's one of those rides that it just has that magical feel to it and that really nice amusement park feel and that's what I want this final coaster to have as well what I'm going to be building in the next episode um, it's not going to be heavily themed it's going to go back to the garden sort of area a bit like what I did at the back of the park uh, sort of after Schlitten Dips and before the ghost train that whole area there uh, where the ferris wheel is that's the, what I'm going to try and accomplish the other side of the Chinese area uh, uh, maybe have this coaster going over water quite a bit over some lakes and that was my original plan for this racing coaster but because I had to dig down a little bit more for it to keep its speed up I kind of decided against that and, and thought no actually uh, that was another factor actually in me wanting to build another coaster because I'd like one pretty much all or mostly over water maybe 70% uh, over water with some nice fountains and things as well so uh, anyway let's uh, just talk about some more of the details going on here you can see we've added all the uh, lights onto it just putting on some uh, windows there now as well getting them all uh, decided which ones work with the building of course i've tried to make this building look very different to the others in terms of the color scheme but follow that traditional amusement park style and uh, yeah you can start now moving over to the uh, other wooden coaster the smaller junior coaster uh, that we'll be naming in a couple of minutes as well and um, just starting off with the theme uh, of, of, of that purple style station building and putting all that around again this is going to be lightly themed uh, mostly landscapes with some nice trees shrubbery bushes uh, and we're gonna have a nice uh, lit up sign just out the front there as well um, sort of behind the little lake that I've created uh, which will reveal the uh, name of the ride but yeah you can see a similar style to the uh, dueling uh, wooden coaster the racing coaster 
uh, station there. Similar style with the same colours, uh, with the grey for the roof tiles and the purple for the building structure itself. It's coming together really nice though around here now and uh, I now start to include a toilet block uh, just here as well along with a guest information stand uh, just to help guests navigate because this section of the park, like I say, it ended up being a lot bigger than what I originally intended for it to be. So we're just making sure that I've got them facilities in. And uh, yeah, it's coming on really nicely. In, in fact, there's mainly going to be some nice landscaping around here uh, and put plenty of rocks and things around. Again, a lot of it being uh, what you'd see in like your gardens, you know, like a nice landscaping, what you get in them parks instead of it being themed rock work, a bit like Taran, you know, where this is real rock, what the uh, rides have been built around. And obviously I had to dig in quite a bit into the ground here with this coaster. So I'm trying to cover up the fact that I've dug down too much. You know, I wanted to be more of a natural hillside and you can see the park boundary has been extended out there as well now, um, down from the other entrance. So it all just comes together really nicely. And uh, yeah, I'm just pleased with the overall project. You can see I'm just uh, accomplishing that effect by putting in the rocks, then uh, mixing it in with some nice trees and shrubbery around as well, just to give it that nice effect. You know me, I don't like leaving anything blank. Uh, I like to fill uh, all of the space in as much as I can do. But uh, yeah, anyway, I was talking just about the uh, lighting. You'll see now uh, that we're going to move on to that, uh, about all the different theme lighting. And that's also where I'm going to talk about the names for all of these rides. So you can see there, I'm keeping with the whole blue and red uh, feel to this, because the red lighting's going in there on the red track with the left track. And uh, of course, the blue lighting on the right hand side. But let's talk about some names. Firstly, with this awesome dueling coaster that I'm very very pleased with uh, like I say it's quite short it's a bit of a wicker man sort of length uh, but the name here I really like and this has been suggested by Ozzy's Space uh, and he has decided to call this ride dueling jewels I absolutely love the name I know a lot of you did as well in the video comments uh, the blue side of the ride being called Sapphire and the red side, which obviously the lighting's going in there around the helix, uh, being called Ruby. Absolutely loving that. It's dueling jewels. Uh, something very, very different. Instead of going with like horse racing or anything like that, like the Grand National at the Pleasure Beach in Blackpool, remember something very different there. So thank you to Ozzy's Space for suggesting that name, dueling jewels. Bit of a tongue twister, very unique, and a very unique theme for this ride as well. Uh, and it fits really well. Like I say, it's lightly themed, it's more landscaped, uh, but I just think it looks very impressive, fits really well. And uh, yeah, it, it, I'd say this is my favorite favorite coaster and favorite part of the park that I've built here at uh, Summerfield Shore. But yeah, thanks for that one. Uh, this smaller wooden coaster, of course, we've got uh, dueling jewels for this one. I loved Aussie Space uh, name suggestion for this as well. And that is the Junior Jewel. So that's great, isn't it? Dueling jewels and Junior Jewel. There you go. So many uh, tongue twisters. That would get complicated, couldn't it, for park guests? But uh, there you go. I really like those. And look at this now. Let's see what I mean about that magic feel to this with all the lighting around the station there the turrets on there nicely lit of course you got the blue and red light in the archways yeah like this looks gorgeous in my opinion i'm very pleased with how this has come together and there you are you can see the signage is now in place for junior jewel so thanks for those names the plain ride, the little flat ride that we've got off to the left hand side, we're going to call that Summerfield Airline. And that's thanks to YouTube user, here we go, uh, Theme Park Fan and Blue Gamer LOL. So there you go. Uh, thank you very much for suggesting the Summerfield Airline for that one. And the carousel, uh, like I said in the last episode, it is the second carousel to be installed at the park. We've got the smaller one down the other end, the bigger carousel just here in this family area. And uh, yeah, the name that I've suggested for this one is uh, Queen Claire's Carousel. And that's been uh, uh, suggested by Patty Sakinski. So there you go. I do apologize if I've said your name wrong there, Patty. Uh, but thank you very much for sending that one in uh, and commenting on the video. Thank you very much. But uh, you can see a hot air balloon has just landed now at Summerfield Shore. Again, just fits with this whole area and with the plane being there, I thought let's base it a little bit on aviation. But uh, yeah, I'm loving the names. Thank you to everyone that has commented throughout the series. Of course, you've got one more chance now to get a bit of a shout out in the episode and name a ride uh, so all you've got to do is comment before the next episode uh, what would you like to name uh, my next 
uh, roller coaster that I am going to be building. Of course, get your comments coming in on this video. I know it's not been built yet. Get your suggestions and names coming in uh, for that overall theme. If it was an arrow looping coaster, and uh, then I'll uh, of course give you another chance on that video and then reveal it when we uh, open the park. But uh, there you go. Anyway, I've been talking for 15 minutes, believe it or not. So I'll leave you with a couple of minutes with a bit of Planet Coaster music, and I'll uh, come back to you shortly. So as you've just seen over the past few minutes, I've just been adding more details around this area of the park. And uh, like I said back earlier on in the episode, uh, there's no specific theme to this area of the park. It's more just got a nice sort of more modern feel, but still with that traditional uh, style to the rest of the amusement park. Uh, I wanted to just go for some more modern colors in terms of the purple and the white, and just give it a bit more of a sleek feel uh, to this area, just to make it stand out a little bit more, especially uh, with it having uh, a big, what I would say, the standout ride in this park. I would say, you know, people who are coming here uh, to visit, you know, you, you'd probably come straight to this ride because it's one of the most popular and biggest rides in the park. Uh, and the fact it's got that racing element, I think people will really enjoy. But uh, there you go, we'll all find out, won't we, in two episodes. We would have found out in the next episode, but uh, I'm sure you're all quite looking forward to seeing one more coaster being built in this park. I know I'm certainly looking forward to building it. And uh, yeah, I'm really quite emotional 
thought we're coming towards the end of this park and maybe that's another reason why I wanted to build one more ride and I just wanted to latch onto this park for a little bit longer because I've really enjoyed building this one more than any of the other parks what I've done and I feel like I've learned so much more about the game uh, with this one as well and um, so yeah I'm looking forward to going in with the World's Fair Park soon and, and getting started on that after a short four part mini series of course uh, with an indoor amusement park but uh, there you go to wrap up this episode let's have on ride POVs from the two different rides uh, that we've got here on the racing coaster just so you can see it with the theme in uh, of course climbing up the uh, lift hill there quite slowly so you get to take in the atmosphere and of course the interaction uh, with the other side of course we're on the uh, blue side first we're on uh, sapphire as it's known of course ruby's racing against us on the other side as you can see i've uh, recolored uh, the piece of wood at the side of this to purple as well just to add a little bit more to it so here we go down we go on the sapphire side down that drop Oy. and up there into that first airtime hill double down making our way round yeah underneath the queue line there Looks a lot better, doesn't it, than the POV uh, back in episode 14. That double down there. Yeah, it looks really nice. Quite open as well around here. Like I said, I wanted to keep, you know, not too much trees around. I wanted it to be low-level sort of bushes and things. And there we go, round into the brakes. Really nice. That, like I say, is shorter than what I was originally hoping for, but still pleased with how they came out. It's good to see you enjoyed them. And here we are then on Ruby Red. Making our way up, Whee! that nice uh, double up there onto the lift hill. Again, uh, allows you to get that really good interaction with the other side. And like I say, get those comments coming in for uh, suggestions and name suggestions, maybe some light theme ideas uh, for this final coaster that I'm going to be building, which is pretty likely going to be an arrow uh, looping coaster like I say but uh, the American arrow I look forward to putting one of those in uh, but yeah like I say if I see a suggestion what I think might top that uh, of course I will uh, go with that one something that might take my eye and here we go making our way round feels so much faster I mean, I mean personally I do prefer the other side I prefer sapphire but uh, there you go making our way down again let me know in the comments if you didn't tell the last video which one is your favorite hey around that helix Making our way back round to the left and then back up into the brake run. But there you go. Thank you very much for joining me, Sean Sandbrook, here on Theme Park Worldwide for another episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster. And I'll see you in a few days' time uh, for another episode in the series.